What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Please like, share, and subscribe to my shit. Please follow me and all the links in the uh, description box below. Howard Stern goes in on Kyrie Irving of the Brooklyn Nets. Now, uh, Jesus Christ. Howard Stern, I used to be a huge fucking fan of. You know, he was a pioneer for free speech. And uh, not so much anymore. I stopped listening to him, I would say, about maybe four, three, four years ago. uh, Because he just took a real hard turn left and he became one of these goofy limousine liberals it it just it got out of hand for me when it came to him and um what Howard Stern is uh going in on Kyrie Irving for is because uh for those who don't know Kyrie Irving is uh taking a stand against the um what's the word I was gonna say oh yeah the uh quote unquote protection mandate that is um, being uh, thrown upon him and a lot of New Yorkers you know when it comes down to the uh, bug so Kyrie Irving's not allowed to enter the Brooklyn Nets arena or to play any home games until he gets uh, the the protection and he doesn't want to get the protection he doesn't want to get forced to do it So he speaks for a lot of Americans out there. He also said, yeah, he wants to be that voice because it's 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 un-American and people are losing their livelihood behind it. So he's willing to turn down millions of dollars, you know, in order to uh, make a statement. And that's his choice. Right. So Howard Stern essentially gets on the air, calls him the top idiot in the country, calls him a douchebag, X, Y, Z. It says that whoever's running the Brooklyn Nets, he wishes that they were running the country. Um, (laughs) This dude is ridiculous. Howard Stern used to represent freedom, particularly freedom of speech. But he also knew freedom. You know what I mean? So, I just find it funny that a dude like him goes in on people that are choosing not to get the protection. You know what I mean? He recently did this with Joe Rogan, too, which I I believe was a friend of his as well. I mean, this dude is the biggest curmudgeon on the fucking planet. I'm part of a, a... a Howard Stern fan uh, page on uh, Facebook. And this dude gets straight dumped on in there. Like, there's just people that just can't stand the show anymore because he's become everything he fucking hated. And this is yet another example of this dude just, just becoming... He essentially, anybody who's a fan of Howard Stern, he essentially turned into I Miss. And shout out to Opie and Anthony because I believe they they did a sketch of this a um, couple years ago where they uh, played an old clip of Howard like predicting the future. Uh, uh, um, I'm not predicting the future, but he was talking about Imus. But then they said that they were uh, that Howard was predicting his own future because everything he was talking about was basically him right now. So, um, yeah, he, he totally is just this weird dude. I, he doesn't even go to the studio anymore. 
either him and Robin, I believe, are um, separated. Not separate. Well, they're in separate uh, locations, and they do the, the the show that way. It's just this dude got rich, and um, he became one of these guys that uh, you know he's he's a, a one of these Hollywood elites. Oh, I'm going to parties in in L.A. with my buddy Jimmy Kimmel, and mind you, 20 years ago he would have straight shat on this dude. You know, oh, I'm getting facials. I'm doing X, Y. It's like, yo, bro, you, uh, fuck you. Yeah, everything that you uh, once hated. And I don't know what to say. I stand with Kyrie Irving because I believe in the 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 um, freedom of choice. And and you know, it. Look, I'm not pro or anti the protection i'm anti the goofiness that's around it i've said this before you go do what's um in your best interest but make your own choice when it comes to it don't let these these bullshit celebrities try to shame you into doing it you understand so howard stern fuck you you're you're the biggest sellout on the planet you used to represent the people and freedom but now you don't anymore and um i'm glad you get ripped every fucking chance the fans uh get all right so um just a quick video i stand with kyrie irving you know because it's not easy to um turn out that much and by the way that's another thing uh when he uh stated that you know he wishes whoever was running the brooklyn nets was running the country howard stern's a, a, a jew you know and he rails on nazis and all this shit why would you want a um a totalitarian government which is essentially what the nazis were why would you want that you know what i mean you should be free to make your own fucking decision especially from this this thing that you can survive with, has a 99% survival rate it, it, this dude is just ridiculous um, I hope more people stop listening to this guy that's just my uh, opinion but people can do what they want I hear his show sucks and it, I believe it because again like I said I stopped listening a, a few years ago like the show was just going straight downhill um that's it everybody else um y'all know the deal leave your love leave your hate most of all subscribe and um that's it peace bitches